Okay, so in my previous classes, I have set up the org unit and I have also uh, maintained the relationship between these org units. Okay, uh, today I will be going to cover what is our job. So job, the basic purpose of job is to basically describe the position. So it basically means what the position will be doing. So for example, there is a job of HR and the position will be uh, like position will be uh, working on the HR activities. So basically the purpose of job is basically it describes the position. So in order to create the job, either we can go through this SAP easy access screen under organization management. Under expert mode, there is a transaction code as PO03. Okay, either I can click on this PO03 or I can enter my own transaction, uh, not my own transaction, or either I can enter the transaction code. So if I give the transaction code as PO03. So here I'm going to create a job. Uh, so what I have to do first, I will be selecting this info type called object. And basically these info types store the information related to the object. Under OM, these info types will be storing all the information related to what kind of object type we are going to create. So I've already Correct. created... Okay, one second. Okay, so job. So I will be creating one job as HR. So I will not be giving any object ID in this field, but what we basically give the object ID. Okay. So the in the uh, already the settings are defined that what object ID will be given to this object called job. And I will be creating this job from the starting period, uh, for example, 1190 to 31.12.90. So I will be selecting this info type called object and I will be clicking on the create icon. So I will be giving the job name as HR. It is the abbreviation and I can give any abbreviation and the object name, I can give the object name. I will be giving the job as HR here and in the, here I can give the human resources. So once I enter the, the, this data and when I click on save, Uh, object will be created, uh, a job will be created uh, with this object ID. Okay. So after that, I have created the job. Uh, what I will be doing, I will be maintaining the relationship of this job with the position. Okay. So I have already created this position. So I will be using one of this position, 5001, First, I have to go to uh, the screen where I can maintain the relationship between uh, relationship for the position. So there is a transaction code called PO13 and there I will be giving the position name. So the number was 5016430. So some of the uh, relationship are already maintained for this object position. So I will be maintaining the relationship of this position with the job. So what I will be doing, I will click on this create icon. And uh, I will be selecting the job here. Job uh, code which is used for job is C. Uh, C, C, C. Yeah. And uh, I forgot the job object type. So I will click on the HR. So if I forgot what is the object ID of my object, uh, uh, like for example, in this case, I have forgotten what is the object ID for this job. So what I will be doing, I will be giving the name, whatever the name I have remember. For example, I have given the abbreviation in HR. So after entering the HR, I, either I can click on enter or either I can click this F4 icon for search help. Okay. So here I can see all the object with the with the having the text as HR. 
so we have created this object as uh, hr and the object name as human resources so i will be selecting this human resources and here the relationship between job and position would be uh, it is a007s i think for job basically describe the position so uh, uh, yeah b007 so this position is basically described getting described by this or job so i will click on save so we have maintained the relationship between the job and position so here here you can see the relationship is maintained as b007 so basically this position is getting described by this job hr and if we go to the job is uh, job screen okay if we open the transaction called po003 and job near bad hr it will automatically give us the option so what we have done is basically we have maintained the position through position uh, uh, we have maintained the relationship through position uh, but what SAP basically do it basically uh, when we create any relationship, it automatically create the uh, reverse uh, relationship as well. So we have so created the relationship from position to job. But if we go to job screen where we can maintain job, we can see there is another relationship created as A007 with this position, the position for which we have maintained the relationship. So you can see. This job is basically describing this position. If I click on edit icon, I can see uh, the job HR is basically describe the position, uh, this one, SHR or senior HR. So I can take the screenshot. Another thing is, uh, another object type is called task or task catalog, okay? So what basically we do here is basically we uh, define the task which the position will be uh, performing. So what are the tasks of HR as are like, this is just an example. So major activities of HR is like basically hiring the employee, terminating the employee, promotion, if there is a, any performance uh, related thing they have to, Consider these kind of activities are come under the HR. So what we will do, we basically we will be basically creating a task or task catalog for this position senior HR. So if we go to this SAP EGSX, EGSX screen, here you can see there is a transaction called PFCT. So either we can directly click here or we can give the transaction code in this transaction code field. So it is saying uh, like what task you want to see are either you want to see the all the task of all the period or for the today period or for every other. So what we'll be doing, we will be just uh, executing this and we'll be creating our own task or task catalog. Task catalog is basically a group of tasks and uh, task is basically a single task. Uh, let me create it again. Okay. Under task, I will be creating it. I will give the name as SHRT Senior HR Task. Let me give the period as 0101 and I will save it. Okay, it is saying already exist. Okay, so we will giving we'll be giving it some different name. SHR TA. Because we have already created the senior HR task uh, with the abbreviation as a SHRT. That's why it was not allowing us. So now when I created the new task under this uh, by selecting this node task and then after that I have created the another task as senior HR task. So 
in this, I have, what I will be doing, I will be creating sub, uh, another subtask under this uh, uh, senior HR task. So I will be defining the task. So I will select this task catalog and I will click on create. And I will be giving all the tasks which uh, the HR may be performing. So for example, he will be performing hiring. So I can give the name as task name as HR hiring. Termination. So I will give the name as termination. Another is uh, performance management. So I will give the name as PM performance. Another I will give. Uh, what I will give the name is promotion. Give the name as PR. So I have created one task and under that I have uh, defined some different tasks. So what will happen? Period, we will be selecting the same period, uh, 11902 3199 and here as well. Once I save it, a task catalog is created, which is consisting of all these tasks, promotion, performance management, termination and hiring. So I have created this task and now I have to link uh, this task with my position. So what I will do, I will be opening the transaction code to maintain the position. So you may be not knowing about this lesson or lesson. So that thing I have already covered uh, previous in my previous classes. What it basically do, if I give that uh, prefix as lesson, okay. So it will basically open a new screen. It will not remove this screen and it will open a new screen. But if I give less and PO 13, it will refresh this screen and the new screen will come. So by, by slash O, it will, this screen will be retained and another an, screen will be opened. Uh, and by slash and this, uh, this uh, screen will not, uh, will get vanished and uh, instead of this screen, a new position will come, a uh, new screen will come. So I have given the transaction as slash O PO 13. And here I will be giving my position object ID. Uh, it was 500016430. So I'm setting up a new relationship between the uh, the position and the task. So what I will do, I will be selecting this info type called relationship. This info type basically stores the relate, uh, relationship related information. So I will click, click on this create. And uh, the relationship would be A204 with the. Okay, so from we are maintaining the relationship through position. So we will be giving B204. Once I click on enter. So basically, when I give this relationship, it is saying the possible roles of this position. So what roles or what task this position will be performing will be uh, mentioned by selecting this task. Okay, And in this task, we will be giving our task number. So the task which we have created is this, the task catalog. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And also, I will maintain the relationship. Uh, number is 98301. I click on this save. A relationship between the task and position has been created. So you can see there are three kind of relationship has been maintained for this position. The first one is basically the position between the position and the org unit. So this position will be coming under the org unit IBM HR. And this position is basically described by this job HR. And the task the this position will be performing uh, will be uh, mentioned under this SHR team. So the task under this catalog is, uh, you can say, the promotion, performance management, termination, and hiring. 
so we will be also able to see uh, like if we open this task we will be able to see there are four relationship would be maintained uh, basically these tasks will be reporting to this task so i will be showing it to you first let me take the screen so mm. So if I click on this task and if I click on change, uh, a new screen will get opened and uh, which will be showing us the relationship. Uh, also, either we can do this or either we can go to the transaction code PP01 or PP02. I think PP02 would be better. Okay, let me go to PP01. So in this screen, uh, for position, we are using the PO13 for uh, uh, for maintaining the org unit, we are using PO10. For maintaining the job, we are using PO03. But for generally, if we want to, uh, like for example, we don't uh, remember the transaction code for maintaining the position org unit or any other kind of object. Okay, so there are a lot of object types. Uh, like related to learning, uh, you can say uh, related to task, uh, related to uh, work center. So if you want to maintain different object type, this transaction code we can use PP01. And here we can select the object type. So if for uh, now I want to see the task. Okay. So for task, I think uh, this would be there. Second, let me see what is the code used for task. It is T. So if I go to this PP01 standard task and if I give my task number here, it is 9800301. Uh, this is not the one. Nine, Okay, here it is TS, uh, not TRT. So our A is T. So here we can see the task. Okay. If we open this, you can see this task is created and the name would be there for this task, which will be stored under object. We haven't gone through this screen, but we have used the other way. So we can see the uh, description and detail has been given for this task. And if I open the relationship, I will be able to see Four relationship would be there in this record, and uh, which is basically describing these uh, these uh, sub tasks. Okay, this HR, TM, PM, and PR. So I think that's all for today class. Uh, let me close the screen.